the chicas and the divas Miss Shay Love, I see ya I watch your videos and I learn something new I'm watching one right now to tell you the truth Oops, Shay Love, just for the ones who be looking Welcome to her world, cause it's off the hook, man You got viewers from South Carolina to Brooklyn uh, And this beat make me get it by, get it by Cause your show is really hot, really hot and this beat make me did it by, by, uh-huh Cause your show is really hot, hot, yeah It's yeah. Young Yan And it about to start right now It's right Young Yan Shay Love, Shay Love What's up, what's up? I'm gone Hello, 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 chicas, and welcome back to Natural Beautiful. It's your girl, Miss Shay, coming at you guys once again with some hey guys, hair. Today, we are going to talk about a wig. Really nice short wig for the summer. Really nice and airy. Um, the wig comes from blackhairwigs.net. The link is going to be at the bottom, so you can this check them out. This is a black-owned and operated online wig site. Yes, yes, chicas, Black Baya. B-A-Y-A, it's by the Motown Tress Collection, and it's a flex wig, and it says one size fit all. So any size head between a small and extra large will be able to wear this wig. Now the tag, the packaging did not come with a picture, so I'm going to include it somewhere in the video. And let's get to what she looks like, okay? Guys, first off, it is a standard wig cap. Standard wig cap. No combs at all in the wig. It does have the stretch sides right here, stretch panel, which makes it the adjustable. So you can pull it to fit your head, okay? It also has the bendable links in there for you to mold it to your sides. And it has your two adjustable straps in the back. So you have your adjustable straps. It has a little flap in the back, just a little right small down. flap, okay? Also, guys, most of the Motown Tress wigs that I've seen so far does come with some form of skin top. Okay, so this wig does have a little skin top right in the closure piece at the top. You can see that right there. And this is what it looks like in the inside. It's just a little skin top there. Just a little circle skin top closure. Okay, so let's get her on, guys hide this Motown trash tag before it shows in my wig <clears throat> okay and what this is I'm gonna push this wig back some I have already tried it on so um, I know that I needed to push it back now straight out the pack this is what she looks like okay if you like this hey I would not wear this wig like this because to me this looks like a mushroom Okay, look at it. Check out the back. Yeah, I would not wear this wig like this. So, let's work her out. Okay, first off, we're going to try to get rid of some of this in the front. Um, for some people, you may have to cut it. That's what you do, then do it. But what I'm going to do is kind of just pull some of the hair back. Leave just a little bit of bang like that and probably move it to the side a little bit just to thin out these bangs some so it don't look so mushroomy. Okay, then we're gonna pass our finger stood and just move it back, guys. We're gonna work this wig out. You guys know I am not a fan of short hair, but when them summer months come and it gets hot as heck, your girl will throw on a short wig. But <laughs> It has to be a cute one, okay? Or it has to be something that I can work out. So, let's work it out. Kind of trying to give it a little volume in the back. The wig is new, so let's make some friction here. Now, so far, <laughs> just with the, the thin bangs, I kind of like the front. Okay, now we got to do something with the rest. Let's kind of twist up the sides a bit. Y'all, I'm creating something. See how the sides are kind of twisting up there? Kind of giving me that feathered look. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay. And no. We definitely need those sideburns there. Okay. Okay. 
and I'm kind of in the back just let me show you guys I'm kind of just pressing and pushing up kind of molding it down a little bit and pushing it up in the back because that's not much I can do with the back okay get a comb here I'm trying to keep the hair out of my face as much as possible because you guys know I do not like hair in my face okay y'all this is about as much as I can work out with this um, really the only thing I was able to do was thin out the bangs just a little by pushing the hair to the back and kind of molding it up and pushing it up in the back now would I wear this wig? Hmm, maybe. Maybe with some fire makeup and some bomb earrings. When I say bomb, I mean bomb earrings. Um, yeah, I would. Um, would it be my first choice? No. But I would definitely wear it, okay? So, guys, you tell me what you think of this wig. Let me turn around, show you some side views, the back, tapered back, kind of lays flat with that little flap back there. Here's the other side, and we're back to the front. You guys let me know if you like what I did, if you like the, the fact that I thinned out the bangs a little bit and got rid of that mushroom. <laughs> um, and let me know what you think. Remember to check out blackhairwigs.net. The link will be at the bottom. The link to this wig, if you're interested, will also be at the bottom. If you have any questions, please direct them to blackhairwigs.net. Um, and Emily will be able to answer all your questions. Guys, thanks for watching. Your girl will be back. Stay tuned for the pictures at the end. You know I'm about to change my earrings and work it out. <laughs> thanks, guys, for watching.